everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you from Pleasant Hill Saddle Shop here in Rogers, Minnesota. And today I found this Corral Gnarly Fish Skin Boot. That's its actual name, Gnarly. I'm not just saying that. Corral is owning up to the fact that this boot just looks gnarly. I want to break down the details of this boot in this quick impression video, so let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way all right, guys, here at Pleasant Hill Saddle Shop in Rogers, Minnesota. This store is beautiful. It's so classic, and they got some awesome boots up here down this whole wall of this place. It might seem small outside, but it is deep, guys. This is a really long store, so if you're driving past that saying, you know, it looks kind of small, stop on in because you will be walking in here for a while. They got lots of boots, including this Corral gnarly fish skin boot. And I'm so pumped to break down the details of this gnarly boot. So let's jump into the rundown. All right, this is Corral model number 3086, also known as the Gnarly Fish Skin, and it features what I believe to be Piruruku Fish Skin on the foot and the counter. A lot of people will call this sea bass, but most of the fish that you're gonna see that looks like this is Piruruku. It's just the smaller scales are farmed fish. The bigger scales are from more of the wild caught Pirarukus. This boot also features a wide square toe with a double stitched welt. And it comes in at about 11 inches tall and it has a lot going on here on the top. You got some distressing, a stitch pattern, and also an inlay up at the crown of the boot that feels to be burlap. So there's a lot going on here and they are definitely living up to that gnarly name for a heel, we have what feels to be about a one and three eighths inch bonded leather heel. So it's like a block style type heel here. And for an outsole, we got a hybrid outsole. This is a different kind of hybrid outsole that we usually see. It looks like they cut out a little piece of leather and then inject a rubber in here. And I wanna say that they inject it because you can kind of see a little dot there where they sort of injected, molded it in there. Everything else is leather around that and it also features lemonwood pegs and brass nails alongside the shank. On the inside, we have a hung leather lining, so it's covering up the seam in here and it feels to be cowhide because it's really, really soft. And then for an insole, a soft leather insole about halfway through and then at the ball of the foot, it turns into cloth. So we got half soft leather and half cloth. And you got a little bit of foam under that as well for cushion. Corral boots are made in Mexico, and this one is coming in at $324.99 here at Pleasant Hills Saddle Shop. Now, it's time to try on this boot to see how it looks and feels. All right, guys, I got on those gnarly Corral fishkin boots right now, and they feel really nice inside. That cowhide leather lining is awesome. The cloth part of the insole is my only concern i've had boots with cloth insoles like this before that are like half leather half cloth and let me tell you at the ball of the foot area these tend to fray a little bit and they kind of break down real fast way faster than leather but uh I, i'm sure you're not surprised by that um cloth is not leather so uh, that's something that i got against this boot already uh, but everything else feels and looks pretty cool like it is gnarly and i kind of feel gnarly in them so it's uh it's awesome you know in order for you to keep that insole lasting longer you could put a thin leather insert in there you know they make some with sheepskin and a little bit of cork underneath that so then you cover up that cloth in there and then have them last a little bit longer. In fact, a lot longer because your foot isn't rubbing against that cloth all day long. So it'll last significantly lost longer if you put in a leather insert in there. The fish skin is really supple, guys. You know, the thing about fish skin is that it's a little bit more durable than what you would expect. It's thicker than snake skin. So 
you know you kind of get that same snakeskin look with this boot right because the scales are small but it's going to be thicker and a lot of snakeskin boots they have to add in like another pig's pig skin backing so that you know it will last a lot longer it's a little bit thicker it's not as fragile they don't have to do that with piruruku and fish skin like this so that's good to know it's a little bit bit more durable than snakeskin and um, that will be a good way to go if you were looking for that look but wanted something a little bit more durable let me pull these pants over so you can kind of see what they look like just normal these are a little bit big so usually with a square toe um, they're big anyways because you know you got a lot of room at the toe um, but even the instep is just a little bit higher in these than in other boots that I've tried. The counter feels nice and strong though, and that's this part of the heel right here. So it's wrapping around my heel real well, which is nice. I always like a good supportive counter, um, but yeah, I might even be able to go down a half a size in this uh, with that square toe. So um, if you're thinking about going with this boot, depending on what your usual size is and what your favorite brand is already, I might have to compare this square toe to like an Ariat square toe. Very similar sorts of sizing I'm kind of feeling here. So you might want to keep that in mind when you're ordering this boot online or better yet, just come here to Pleasant Hills and try it on for yourself. All right, here's the POV and you can see how gnarly it's looking. <laughs> Look at that grain and texture of those fish scales. You know, one thing with the Piruruku, the wild Piruruku, and how big those scales can get is that a lot of people will say that it looks kind of like you're wearing a pineapple, right? You're not getting that with this. So if you were kind of looking to go fish skin, but not wear some pineapples on your feet, then this is a good way to go. All right, guys, so this boot is for sure gnarly. I love the texture of this fish skin and the color of it as well. The top is also very gnarly. Very interesting to see the burlap inlay up here at the collar of the boot, right? Uh, you don't usually see burlap inlay, but it's a nice inexpensive way to provide a little bit more personality because if they were to inlay this with more leather, more color, then that would increase the price of it. And I was kind of surprised when I saw the price point of this boot at $324.99. That's a nice price for an exotic like this that gives you a lot of personality, right? Plus, you got the hybrid outsole here. So this is where the boot will wear the most. And right in here, if it was a leather outsole, that's where you're gonna run through it first. And then you'd have to get a resole. But because Corral thought ahead and they injected this with a little bit of rubber, this will last you much longer. And then you won't have to be spending as much money as quickly on a resole and you can get this resold because it does have a good year welt here so i like the thought behind putting a hybrid outsole on this boot and plus it is only 324 dollars here at pleasant hill i think that's pretty nice they did have a little bit of cost savings here at the heel with a a bonded excuse me a bonded leather block heel and on the insole they didn't line it all the way through i wish they would have because that cloth is definitely not as strong as leather as you can imagine so that will wear down but if you were able to put a leather insert in there then it would be fine um, which you might have to do if you ordered a bigger size because they do run a little bit big for me I would have to compare this size to an Ariat, which I always have to size down to a 10 and a half D um, to make those work for me. So I would probably choose to do the same thing if I was to try this boot again. But if you guys want to try this boot for yourself, head on down here to Pleasant Hill Saddle Shop. It's a beautiful store. It's huge.
It's enormous. It might look small from out front, but it's really long. And you guys will have a blast in here trying out all the cool boots they have. Or you can also call them here and they'll ship to you in America. And <laughs> it's really important to support these small stores all across America. That's why I love making videos in these stores. Screw Boot Barn, screw Cavenders. This is where you boot shop. Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and I'll see you next time. You looking gnarly today, oh, wearing fish skin that way, yeah, you looking gnarly today. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today. I want you to check out this other fish skin boot video up here, or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe up here, and I'll see you next time, yeah. Peace. Have a good one.